Okay, another quick video for you today. So in this one, we're going to look at how you can count the number of times a substring occurs in a string. So let's create a string, we'll call it S, and we'll just write hello world, and hit F5. So this string doesn't have any real repetition, so let's uh, extend it, let's just put hello world, hello world, hello world. So now we've got some repetition. Okay, so to find out how many times the word hello appears in this string, uh, we are going to do a simple one-liner. Now let's just have a look at the functions we've got available for strings. And we've got a lot of stuff like contains, you can find out if it contains a string, index of, you can get the index of a particular instance of a word or a substring, we've got substring as well, split. But there's nothing in here that's going to um, give us the number of times a word occurs. But we've got another function, it's actually part of the engine class and it's a regex uh, function. So get regex matches and this will actually return an array containing substrings. So we'll create an array for now. This is going to change. This is just for demonstration purposes. And it's going to be equal to engine.getregex matches. So that function. And the first thing we do is pass in the string we want to search within. And the second thing we do is pass in what we want to search for. So we're looking for hello. And if I hit F5, we open the script watch table and we can see that our array now has three instances of hello, which is what we have in our string. So now we've got all the instances of that word in the array. We can just check the length of the array. So we do console.print array.length and it says three. So we know now there are three instances of hello within our string. But we can shorten this to one line. So we can just put here, um, we call this occurrences instead of array, and just put the dot length thing on the end there. And now we can just print occurrences, hit F5, and I'm going to typo there, add that S. There we go. And it outputs three. And if we add hello into here again, now it outputs four. So this is a really nice, simple one-liner just for getting the number of times a word appears in a string. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.